What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply into our WordPress website blog posts a reading progress bar, okay, so a dynamic reading progress bar that shows how many lines the users have left to read and this can encourage, this can make the users tends to tending to read more and read the content fully because when you see a progress bar human brains are needed to complete it okay so as soon as the user scroll down the line go little further until it's complete in the end of your article okay but before anything i would like to ask you guys to subscribe this channel if you are not subscribed yet and like this video because it helps us a lot. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the case that you have any question or any anything to add to the discussion. Okay, I'm gonna be happy and talk to you. But let's get a do. We need to go to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, and once on dashboard, we're gonna move to plugins. Okay, add new. Once on it, we're gonna type this name, okay? Worth the read. Worth the read. It's a plugin done by Well Done Marketing Team, okay? They are still little known plugin, okay? But it's very good. It's good hated and works nicely, okay? They use the Redux framework as the panel, okay? And works good. Uh, you can download for free. So this is the whole thing about here. We would like to do a great blog content for free okay so we can monetize we can bring our lives online but going back to the point go to wordpress dashboard plugins at new and at the top of your screen at the right section into the search for plugins we're gonna type worth the read and here we go here's the plugin we're gonna click on install now okay The plugin is already installed, we're gonna click on activate. The time that it takes to install a plugin into your WordPress, even if the plugin is present on wordpress.org, changes according to your hosting performance. So if it takes more time for you, no need to worry. Always remember, I do not cut the videos, I show the whole process, okay? So we can see the process from the end, from the beginning to the end, okay? Now, as soon as you click on the activated blue button, we're gonna be redirected to your WordPress plugins list page. And here you're gonna be able to see your plugin. Worth the read. Here is the plugin, okay? It's now active and working on our site. Now, if you go into the end of your page, okay? And go to Next to settings, we're gonna be able to see the worth the read at the left side of our screen, okay? The final bottom of our WordPress dashboard. And here we go to the plugin settings. So here is the plugin panel, the plugin setup panel, okay? And the very first thing to reveal is the reading progress okay the functionality okay so functionality how the progress bar works first of all we can display it on home page on pages, and on posts we can check all of those settings i would like to display this only on my blog posts so this is the option that i'm gonna have so as soon as i click on it it turns blue and i can click on save change settings save it okay now, if I go to my one of my blog posts present on my site, I can see at the top of my screen a reading progress bar. It's fancy, it's just a little, okay, but it helps a lot, okay? So, in the end of my content, the progress bar is completed. It's really simple, right? However, we can 
apply more customization to this plugin. So don't leave yet. We're gonna learn more about this amazing plugin, okay? Now, the custom post types. We can apply this plugin to custom post types, okay? In the case that you want, for example, one good example of a custom post type is the WooCommerce products, for example. If you have a gallery, a portfolio post type, maybe a team members post type, it changes according to our blog posts, according to our site style, okay? But no need to worry, you can enable the progress bar to custom post types as well. For me and for my site style, this example site, I just want this working for my blog posts, okay? Now, include comments. The count of 100% only counts content of your blog posts. If you want the, the, the progress bar counts as 100%, Including the comments amount of size, you need to set this as OM. I will not do that, okay? But you can do it. Now the placement. We normally gonna set the progress bar to show at the top. However, we can change it to bottom. Remember to click on save change. As you can see now in the bottom of my screen, we can see the progress bar working, okay? Let's try the left one. Seems a quite interesting. So now, if I scroll the post content, you, have, you can review that there is a progress bar into the very left side of my screen. It's a quite, uh, a quite fancy small but we can change it in the case that we want okay now here as you can see here we can change the placement I'm gonna keep this on the top we can apply an offset in the case that we need I'm gonna keep our left so I can display the offset for example 33 now the left progress bar, it's more visible, okay? Let's go back to zero and top. Now the RTL, okay? What is this? It's right to left. This is very important according to the country that we are located, okay? So you can enable or disable. The fixed opacity. This is good, in the case that you want to change the muted opacity, okay? The non-touch device display on standard desktops and laptops, okay? Touch devices display on touch screens, devices like phones on tablets. You can make the progress bar display on your iPhone, on your Android phone, on your mobile phone, okay? So no need to worry, set this as on, change the position that you want to display, change the offset, okay? Simple as this, no need to worry. The debug com mode is the option for developers or in the case that you are having some problems, keep this as off by normal, okay? The plugins work great. Now, we're gonna move to the style. And here is where the fun begins, okay? Because here we can change the size, for example, for the progress bar. Let me change it for nine so you can see. As you can see now, it's bigger. We can change the foreground, for example, we can change the opacity, the background, the comments background, the transparent background, okay, set as on as off. We can apply a shadow, the muted opacity, the muted foreground, and the end 
find ground okay so let's let me update it and here is the results we are having now if we do complete the 100% the color changes nice right We can change now the time commitment, okay? So we can display this on posts and pages or custom post types. We can change the placement, for example, after the title or before the title. The time commitment is something very useful in the case that you want to share, for example, the reading, the amount of time that you take to reading for example this works according to the according to the blog style that you are using okay as you can review right here for example three minutes read simple as this we can change the words per minute normally a person reads 200 words per minute okay so no need to worry about it we can change the count method okay we can change the before title before content after title okay the placement we can change the style of this contents we can change the fonts the colors we can apply custom css and you can import and export in the case we are moving to another website and it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of WordPress themes and plugins, download for free our borderless and WordPress plugin and Enzo WordPress theme that is the best free WordPress theme that you can download and is present on wordpress.org. I'm gonna leave some links into the first comment of this video, okay? And the, the links are for very useful sources, for example, a place where you can buy a domain name for 99 cents, a place where you can start your website with a good hosting that offer free domains, a place where you can download design assets, for example, Photoshop templates, plugins, themes, and many more things for free every week, okay? And also, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, if it did aggregate something to you, if it helped you by any meaning, please share it with your friends and family, okay? It's gonna help us a lot. Don't forget to follow Visual Mode on social media, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We bring videos every week for every meaning of site designs because we are an internet company, okay? So SEO, marketing, commerce, reviews, WordPress, and many more topics are covered, so I'm sure that you will enjoy this channel, and it is. I hope you guys enjoy this video, feel free to use the comment section below, and i see you later. All the best!